Welcome back to InnoSolar TV. InnoSolar North America 2014 is about to start and we want to show you why California is the perfect place for an exhibition series like this. Not only because they have solar-powered ferries here. Today we are heading the rock, Alcatraz, but I'll tell you later why we are visiting. Before that, here are some facts about InnoSolar North America 2014. Since its launch in 2008, the Inner Solar North America Exhibition and Conference has become the most attended event for the solar industry in North America. Held each year in California, the heart of the U.S. industry, the event focuses on the latest technologies and services driving the PV, solar thermal, and energy storage markets. In addition to being co-located with Semicon West, InnerSolar North America is also co-located for the first time with the American Solar Energy Society Solar 2014, the longest running solar conference in the United States. Here we are, Alcatraz. After 75 years, the island that was known as home to some of the United States' most dangerous criminals now has a new image, a green energy trailblazer. Alcatraz Island, operated by the National Park Service, is a former military fortification and federal penitentiary that draws over one million visitors per year. Energy generation has always been a challenge on the island, which does not have a source of grid power. The Alcatraz Island microgrid was designed to increase the use of renewable energy and decrease use of fossil fuels in part through energy conservation. The system is comprised of a solar array, backup generators, and battery storage. The project team included the National Park Service, Hal Hayes Construction, and HDR Incorporated. Princeton Power designed and commissioned the inverters and control systems that operate the microgrid. The system made creative use of this National Historic Landmark site, including insulating old generator rooms and a flat panel configuration on the roof. Alcatraz Island is a very special place and we're surrounded by water. We have no connections to the mainland, so logistics can be a big challenge for construction projects. We also have, as you can see, the weather can be challenging. It's windy, it's foggy, damp and cold often. We also have historic preservation and wildlife concerns here on the island, which can make putting a big project like this together quite a challenge. But as you can see, it's, it's been quite successful. The island's solar panels, which occupy the roof of the historic cell house building, feed power to a bank of batteries in the prison's basement. With 2,000 amp hours of storage capacity, the batteries deliver electricity to the island's mini-grid, even when San Francisco's trademark summer fog rolls in. Here on the roof of the cell house, we have 959 solar panels. On the lower level of the island, we also have a bank of batteries and two backup generators. And the system automatically controls that the island load is prioritized by use from the photovoltaic energy first, batteries second, and the generators third. Including Alcatraz, InnerSolar's awards ceremony will unveil the winners of landmark solar projects in the United States. Among the finalists are Princeton Power Systems Alcatraz Project, Eaton's Hyder 2 Solar Power Plant, Solaire Generation's Whole Foods Market Solar Carport, Trina Solar's Oshman Family Jewish Community Center Project, and First Solar's Agua Caliente Solar Project. What a great experience. This is really an urban PV success story. And if it works on one of the foggiest places in California, it can do so anywhere.